now we have our two pieces ready for actually drilling some more holes so that way we can uh you know get it on the get it on the alternator be right like this oh look at that there's just a that's too big to that there's just a little bit of space here on the on the bracket that we're making in between these two pieces that little space that's just a bit too big to weld through you know oh well oh well we'll make it work looks like it's gonna work real well we might have cut it just a little bit short but that's okay because we can always get another rack like piece along here to stiffen it up stiffen it up son I, got, I gotta remember that I'm I'm not in frame I gotta move camera whatever we're just trying to get it done <laughs> Dude, I already started drilling and I wasn't recording. Son of a bee. I don't like that noise. Am I, do I, is it, is it okay to just keep putting oil every time it starts squealing like that? Is that like bad form? I mean, listen, it's quiet now. I'm not putting a lot of pressure, but you just let the tool do the work, right? Let's try a little bit of pressure. Whoa! I can do Morse code with this squeak. That's SOS. I don't care, I'm putting more oil on it. Roast me in the comments. I care about your ears. Yeah, yeah. In and out, baby, in and out. Not the burger chain, you know what I'm saying? We're just eyeballing this like the Wild West because I'm not trying to reproduce this nasty bracket. I know I can do better, but I need to do the first one bad to learn how to do the second one gooder. Put that on a t-shirt. But we weld this, we cut one, or sorry, we drill this, we cut one more piece, then we can start welding. I just want to do some welding. Hey, you know, if you haven't uh, dropped a subscribe already, well, you know, you've made it this far into the video. I'm so excited though. Dude, look at that, huh? All right. Quick test fit. Berta. Oh, I bolted it the wrong way. Son of a gun. Oh, I'm such a rookie, dude. If I said I wasn't having fun, I would be a liar. That's for dang sure. And I ain't trying to lie to y'all. Keep it honest, it's constructive. This is a good, clean uh, Christian GTA 6 server, okay? So keep it clean around here. Test fit time. Oh, oh, it's good. It's so good, dude. Yes. They're almost equal in size. I didn't really hack it up that bad, dude. So we're working on this alternator, trying to repurpose this old fan bracket. The 3D printed piece is already, you know, coming in big handy here. I'm working, trying to get it located and I'm, I'm running into a few issues. Let me see if I can run you through it, right? 
you know, so again, here's where the mechanical fan used to be. You saw us cutting that off a little bit ago. And then this 3D printed part is holding on to the idler pulley. Let's come on to the back side here. We got the cast iron that we've bolted on to the mechanical fan bracket. Of course, we have little pieces of cardboard in there to act as spacers. So when I weld everything down, it doesn't get so tight that it can't come off. And then there's these pieces that are actually bolted through the alternator. Again, little piece of cardboard there. And what I'm noticing now is obviously I cut them too long. So we're gonna have to figure out, you know, exactly how I want this alternator. I'm starting to think that I might have to lengthen out this bracket, but where it sits right now is just so, you know what I mean? It's, it's pretty dang good. I really like the location of the alternator here. Another issue that I've just run into, check this out, the, uh, the idler pulley is, yeah, it really, it, it wiggles a little too much. And you know, that obviously means that the alternator, see that really shows it. I don't know if it picks up well on camera, but there's a little bit of a twist going on there and I, it's not all in the alternator, you know what I mean? So we need a new idler pulley. Luckily for me, because I'm a bit of a hoarder, what do you know, idler pulley, and it's nice and fresh too. So we'll switch out the idler pulley and get back at you in a second. All right, so this is what we're working with. We got a new pulley in place and I've got the alternator. This is a failed print that has found new use as a spacer. <laughs> oh man. And uh, I got these two little pieces of metal, right? Those little holes kind of go onto this hole right here. There's gonna be a bolt and that's how, you know, that's what mounts the alternator. And as you can see, here, let me hold this. This hole matches up with that. Look how far down into the bracket it goes. So I cut this way off. So what we did was kind of put the, the, what you call it, the caliper here and that's basically where we want it right so i need 30 oh geez get it in camera shark goodness bud and of course i've got a light blasting at the lcd screen here it's not an lcd but whatever you get the point measured it out and i need 35 mil from the bottom of that to where the bracket's going to be and whatnot and then I should be able to more or less get everything nicely aligned. We're gonna find out. First and foremost, we gotta cut these. So I gotta get <laughs> I gotta get this all out of the vise because I've only got the one the one vise crappily mounted to this table. <laughs> I think I've done enough cutting montages. So rather than showing you guys me doing more cutting, we're just gonna you know do some movie magic here and be at this spot where we um you know well here this mm, ta-da yeah i mean it's not perfect whatever <laughs> no it's gonna be good because we'll have enough space for another angle iron up in there and uh yeah it'll be good it'll be really good so first i did it like this and then did it like this or more like this and uh, yeah, this this should work. This should work. You know, horrible camera jobs here, but this is the next step here. I'm thinking this will work pretty good. I'm gonna weld this angle iron. Let's get this back out of the way. Oh, this is such a good bracket, dude. Uh, I'm gonna get this angle iron put in place. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to see if I can get a little get it a little more square here or something like that, but weld that and then we can flip the alternator back on and weld the alternator. And then we can worry about the other side. Once, you know, one side is put in place, it'll be really easy to get measurements off this side. So we're gonna continue this movie magic action. It's uh, vlog style, right? <laughs> Alrighty, so I'm actually pretty happy with how, I, with how I squared this up. I used my little guy here to you know, get a proper right angle or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And then we got the magnets. Yeah, buddy. I got the tools like I'm a professional. Woo! 
All right, so now we're officially at the moment that I have been absolutely excited to heck about. It's time to weld, dude. We're gonna weld. You can see how cold it is. <laughs> I am so excited for this welding. I literally almost forgot to grab welding gloves, but we're here. We're, oh my God. It's like Tom Platt said when he's talking about the gym, we're here. We can only be here for a little bit of time, but we're here now and it's great. Woo! I have been waiting. Like this video has taken so long for me to record. I have been so distracted and it's, it, it feels like it's all leading up to this moment. So, ooh, ooh. Gas is there, the welder's set. I, I checked the diagram on the inside of the little thing. If you don't know this about a welder, you open it up where you, you put your spool in and you open it up and there's a little diagram there. And it tells you, hey, you need this much wire speed and this much amperage for the thickness of the metal. And we're pushing it because we're only got the uh, 120 volt. Look at these nasty gloves, dude. Oh! All right, you ready? Yeah! Haven't done this in a while, but it's gonna be a good trial. Oh! Pure joy! Oh, this sparks joy! Oh my god! I'm not even good at it. I'm putting down bugs, boys. We're putting the bugs down. Ah! Oh my God, so many bugs. All right, it is time to stack the dime. Oh my God. Yes, baby, yes. I'm stacking dimes, bro. I'm stacking the dimes, son. Stack the dimes, make the rhymes. They ain't gonna pay you all the times. Oh, I'm all that is man. Whoopsie. That might be bad. Yeah, that was a bad one. I had no space and I welded the bolt. <laughs> Oh my God, we did it. Oh God, this is good. I wish I could explain my excitement levels right now. We're gonna, we're gonna do a left hand one. It's uh, it's looking good though, dude. <laughs>
Yeah, it's already pretty gosh dang solid, dude. That's so good, bro. Oh, that is sheer awesome. Y'all, welding up my alternator had me absolutely geeking out. I had so much fun. Even watching back the footage, I was just, oh, I'm hype. I just got done editing some on this video, and that's where all the excitement in my voice is coming from, because even watching it back, I just feel really freaking good about it, dude. Ah! Unfortunately, this video is getting pretty dang long, so we're going to have to put this on, you know, finishing this off onto the next video. I really appreciate you making it this far into this current video. We'll see you in the next one. You can check me out on Instagram, Twitch. I got a whole Discord that I'm trying to grow. It's a little bit of a makerspace, you might say. Anyways, I appreciate you so much for, for checking me out. I appreciate all the follows, likes, comments, subscribes. You guys mean a lot to me. Anyways, be good to each other, and I'll see you soon.